Welcome back to the Rack Warehouse YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at the Easy Rider High Sport Trailer from Yakima. The Easy Rider is designed to carry kayaks, canoes, paddle boards, bikes, cargo boxes, and even light loads of construction and yard materials with its two level design and 500 pound carrying capacity. This trailer sports Yakima's 78 inch wide HD crossbars, measuring roughly 41 inches off the ground. These bars work with a variety of accessories from Yakima as well as other brands. The shock absorbers featured on the trailer give your gear an easy ride, even at highway speeds up to 75 miles per hour. And for more compact storage, the Easy Rider also features a foldable tongue. The trailer, of course, has fully functional taillights, featuring brake lights, turn signals, and daytime running lights while your vehicle's headlights are turned on. Located on the side of the trailer are two amber reflectors that double as daytime running lights as well. The length of the tongue in the unfolded position measures nearly 80 inches from the vehicle and overall the Easy Rider measures 173 inches in length. Assembly of this trailer is required. The remainder of the video will be dedicated to walking you through the steps to complete the Easy Rider High trailer. The first step to assembling the trailer is to locate the tongue and unfold it fully. Insert the locking pin through the holes as shown to lock the spine open, then insert the retaining clip. Pull the wiring harness out of the tongue and locate the tongue extension. Then, feed the harness through the extension. A helpful tip is to use something with a hook, like a wire or a coat hanger, to assist with pulling the harness through. The next step is to align the holes on the tongue and tongue extension. Then, bring the first piece of the trailer's frame over and align it with those holes on the tongue. Insert the hardware into the holes down through the frame piece and the tongue. Add the bracket underneath and completely tighten down the hardware. Now you're ready to attach the next two pieces of the frame. Start in the rear where you routed the wiring harness through the extension. You'll want to connect that harness to the harness protruding out of the frame piece. Route the now connected harness back down through the tongue and align the holes on the frame piece to the holes on the tongue. Add the hardware and tighten it down, leaving it loose enough that the position of the frame can be adjusted later. The process is the same for the front part of the frame as well. Make the connection, line up the holes, and install the hardware. Leave this one partially loose as well. Locate the side parts of the frame to begin installing the fenders. You'll want to feed the harness through the opening on the fender and make the connection first. Then install the ground wire. Fully tighten down the screws that secure the fender to the frame. Before you attach the side pieces of the frame to the trailer, at the very back you'll need to make the connection between the two wiring harnesses. Then, begin to attach the side part of the frame. The key to this step is to alternate sides while connecting the two parts of the frame together. Add the hardware, and tighten it. But do not tighten it fully. We will come back to that step later. Next, you're going to connect the trailing arm and hub assembly to the frame of the trailer. Start by inserting the long bolt with a washer through the assembly. Add a washer on the other side and thread on a nut. Tighten the hardware, but leave it loose enough that the trailing arm assembly moves freely. Locate the shocks, and slide one onto each trailing arm. Add a washer, and secure them with a retaining clip. To attach the shock to the trailer's frame, insert a bolt and washer through the frame and the shock. Then, tighten down the hardware fully on both sides. Install the kickstand onto the tongue with the supplied hardware. With the suspension on, it's time to put on the wheels. This step is easiest with a friend or something to prop up the trailer with while you tighten the lug nuts. With a torque wrench, tighten the lug nuts to approximately 100 newton meters. To install the crossbars onto the trailer, place the crossbar brackets onto the frame. Lay the crossbars across the brackets and install a bolt and washer into the bottom of each crossbar bracket. Fully tighten down this hardware to secure the crossbars to the frame. Snap the reflector covers onto the trailer. And last but not least, go back through the previous steps to fully tighten down any hardware that was required to be left loose during assembly. With your trailer fully assembled, you're ready to hit the road. Thank you for checking out our video on the Yakima Easy Rider High Trailer. If you have any questions about the product, give us a call at 1-800-272-5362 or send us an email to info at rackwarehouse.com.